Hi, I'm Marianne Grevenstein at the Abbey Studio, and today I'm going to show you a technique for shortcutting hand lettering an envelope, uh, such as for wedding invitation, so that you don't have to put your pencil guidelines on each uh, envelope. So we're going to end up with something that looks like this. And instead of having to draw pencil guidelines on each envelope, we're going to use a little template, which is a piece of drafting vellum that I've put my pencil guidelines and then inked in using a crow quill and Higgins Eternal ink. So I have my solid lines where my X height, my uh, the base main part of the lettering will go, and a broken line for the ascenders and the descenders, and a diagonal line to help me keep my slope consistent. And we're going to use a light box technique, which is this drawing table with plexi instead of a wooden writing surface, and it just has a little light underneath that when you turn it on the light shines through the plexi allowing me to put this template in the envelope and to see the guidelines through. When you make your template it's important to make sure that it is just narrow enough to fit inside the envelope. You don't want it to be too narrow because it is would be easy for you to have this placed crooked and you would end up doing your lettering uphill or downhill. It's also important that the template extends beyond the actual envelope itself, forcing you to keep the flap open because it's very easy, believe it or not, to end up doing the lettering with the envelope upside down and you don't realize it until it's too late. So you want to keep that flap open so that you're forced to work on it right side up. So I'm going to use my oblique pen holder and a Jalot 170 pointed pen and I am going to dip it in my Higgins Eternal and begin lettering. <laughs> 